Okay, now that we've gained all that strength in the strength phase, we're going to try to put that into some musical power in the gym. So a lot of people think strength and power is the same thing, but it's actually not the same thing. You know, there's many people that can squat, you know, four or five hundred pounds, mm -hmm. but you get them to move anywhere or try to jump, yeah, they go nowhere. So the, the purpose of these exercises is to change strength into power. So what I'm going to do is show you four great upper body exercises to try to get some power in the upper body. So Chris is going to demonstrate these. The first two is a banded bench press. I like the bands because they allow you to go a lot faster under control. So Chris is going to move this as fast as he can. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. In these things, it's not an endurance exercise. You want to stop the exercise as soon as your speed starts to slow down. So you only go until, you, when, as soon as you feel your speed start to stop, you're going to stop the exercise. So Chris is now going to do a rotational row, which works a lot of hip power and a, and a rowing power. So come up, Chris, get that hand on your hip, a little quicker, come up, explode, boom, four, five, keep your chest up a little higher, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, good. There you have it, the first two exercises of the circuit, the banded press and the rotational row. The second two exercises of the upper body, we're going to just move this stuff away real quick. So Chris, go ahead and put the weights, take those off and put the weights on there. Okay, this is a clean and press. Okay, a lot of the time clean and press is done from the floor, but for safety reasons and, and for ease of learning, we're going to start from the knees, it's called a hang clean. So Chris is going to come up, hips back, he's going to snap it up and come straight, push straight up. Good. Important here. Okay, Chris, start at the beginning. Hips, see his hips are back. The, work, the, the hips are doing the work to snap it up. Just like that. Snap. Boom. Then up. Good. A lot of people want to use just their arms. Go ahead, go so and so just don't use your hips, just use your arms. Yeah. So you want to use your hips to bring this up. And move the bar as fast as you can. Good. Good. Again, like I said before, in the power phase, you want to use a weight that you can move pretty quickly. Okay, without having to lug it. Mm -hmm. okay, that was good, Chris. I put that down. Now we're going to go to a, a, what I call a plyo pull-up. It's a pull-up where you're going to come up, you're going to do a pull-up and you're going to kind of let go, kind of like a, a circus acrobat, and just let go. What this does is builds power in the lats. Again, turns that, that strength into power. So Chris, go ahead and jump up. Go ahead and show about five reps of this. Good. This is very strong, so this, that's a great, not many people can do that. But you can go that high. So again, if you have problems with this, you go ahead and put a band up there. Chris, go ahead and put a, one of those bands up there. Just to show, show people what it looks like if you need some aid. Okay, go ahead and grab. What the band will do is just take about 10 to 15 pounds off you and make you be able to, to do this exercise a little more effectively. Perfect. There you have it. Again, there are two circuits of two exercises each. Again, in the power phase, you want to keep the reps around 30, so that means about three sets of 10 to 12, and stop the exercise as soon as you feel your power. It's not an endurance. So once you start slowing down? Once you start slowing down, just gotcha. call it quits. Gotcha. That's where you're gonna, get your, you're gonna transfer that speed into power that you can use in your bike, on a baseball field, or whatever sport you play.